It has been a very tough week for the Michigan football family. Jimmy Brandstetter with me. Jim Mandich passes away, a guy you played with for Bo. Uh, great one. And you knew Bo real well, and you knew how fond he was of that 69 team that beat Ohio State. It was in his first year. And that was a turning point in Michigan football. It was a critical time. Bo was coming in his first year. Bump Elliott had just left. And we were around 500 midseason. And Jim Manich was the captain of that team. And he would not allow any of us to get down. He wouldn't allow that team to go down. And uh, we went on and beat Ohio State. And, and that leadership that Jim Mandich displayed that season with Bo in his first year and, and really willing that team to go forward, I think set the stage for 40 years of excellence. And that's what Jim Mandich means to me. It's not just that year. It, it's the foundation he laid of leadership that we stood on his shoulders. And everybody since then has been standing on his shoulders and getting Michigan football to where it is. People on the outside probably don't realize how close-knit that Michigan football team and Michigan football family is. You just don't realize until they're gone how much you miss a guy. I saw Jim last year in December. He was doing Miami football. And one of the things that brought him so close to us was he never let his success in Miami, and it was a lot of success. Mm -hmm. He had five Super Bowl rings. Uh, he was on the undefeated Miami Dolphins team of 1972. And yet his greatest moment in football was at Michigan. And he, without question, anybody made him uh, talk about that. His days at Michigan were his best in football. That endeared us to him, uh, him to us. And it, we became that family. And, and you need a father, you need a leader. And as a sophomore on that team, that's who Jim was. And yeah. We feel like we've lost uh, really an icon in, in Jim Mandich. He kind of went the same route you did, decided to get into broadcasting and he did. Good, did a good job. I remember he called me up when he first got the job doing the Dolphins games, and he asked me, he said, what are you getting paid? <laughs> <laughs> and I told him, I says, we called him Diablo. That was his nickname in college. I said, Diablo, you should make a lot more than I should. <laughs>